Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica, and if you like what you see and you don't want to ghost me, make sure you subscribe. I'm slightly like twitching because my mom's on the left of me and I don't think I've ever opened up my video in front of you, have I? Haha. <laughs> Hi guys, um, welcome to Vlogmas Day 17, and guess what? I hit 500 subscribers! <laughs> Actually, 502. 502 subscribers. Mom, 502 subscribers. Great, congratulations. Um, I went to work this morning, so that's why I didn't vlog. I think I vlogged like a snippet of me getting dressed this morning, but that's about it. Um, we've been at work, now we're home. It's Thursday, um, I need to clean my room. <laughs> When she's giggling, but she knows she's the same one. She'll walk into my room and be like, girl, mm -hmm. she, she's quite up front and she's honest. So before she could say anything to me on Saturday morning, we're just going to make sure that it's clean. Do you want to come into frame? Mom? Um, you want to come over here? What? Say hi to the vlog. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm literally talking to you and they can hear your voice, but... What is that for? YouTube. You know I do YouTube. Why? <laughs> Come here. She's she's eating, but like, I'm bothering her. Come here, Mom. I'm eating meat. Is she me on my... <laughs> hey, twin. Hi. So this is my mommy. Mm -hmm. We call her Mama Bear. Mm -hmm. I call her Munchkin. Nobody else is allowed to call her that. Mm -hmm. That's just me. Uh, Mama Pack Home. Mm -hmm. My friends call her Mama Alice. Mm -hmm. Like, she's just the ride or die. But she's like the OG, though. We, growing up, yeah. you'd have your big VHS <laughs> camera. <laughs> And taking all the I pictures. Did. I got it from. Where did I buy it from? Uh, I got it from where? Somewhere that's not. Probably doesn't even exist anymore. No, it does. Um, it does? Best Buy? Best Buy. We have so many home videos, and we were talking about it, like me and Jermaine and Alfredo, um, mm -hmm. about transferring over all those videos I know, we to, have to DVDs. And like. I made so those many are the of them. OG, yeah, OG vlogs, and she'd walk around like that clip. There's like that one video of me on my birthday and you walk around like we went to like one of my favorite Chinese birth buffet. Their birthdays they always take us out to dinner and literally mm -hmm. she followed me around that whole entire night. She's like, Angelica, what are you doing? And that iconic line, <laughs> I'm getting chicken on a stick. What? What are you getting? Chicken on a stick. <laughs> chicken on a stick. <laughs> what are you having when you get to the restaurant? Chicken, chicken on, on a stick. stick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stay safe out there. At the end of the year, stressed you out. I know. It's all about a good time with family and friends. And enjoying. Enjoying life. Time. And enjoying life because it's changing so much. <laughs> I don't know. Bye. 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 What? Well, how do you call your YouTube uh, followers? They don't have a name. You don't have a name for them? She's fully gonna attack me. What? what? You have a name? Mm -mm. I watch, I'm on YouTube every day, all day. When I tell you she can aimlessly watch YouTube for hours? Yeah, I do that. I feel like you know more about YouTube than I do, and I'm on YouTube. That's why you should have a name for your subscribers. Because <laughs> so I just knew. I don't know. They take their time to watch what you do and. They find what you do f to be fun. They value your channel. And yeah. And they subscribe. I call them my babies. At the end of my thing, I always say kisses to my bitches. Stay hydrated, kids. See you in the next video. What? No. Like, hey, calm down. It's a... Shh. Oh, my heart. My heart. <laughs> She's giving me the look. I am giving her the look. I'm yeah. still manic, though. Slightly. Mm. It's stressful, but it's What's fun. stressful? Vlogmas. But I like it, if I'm being honest. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Like it's fun. But listen, I know. I know it's fun, but editing it. Oh, editing. 
If I were to have a YouTube channel, I wouldn't be editing it. Yeah, yeah. I would just make the video and post it. Mm -mm. Boom, mm -mm. done. Okay, so food good. is here. <laughs> Buffalo chicken calzone. Looking good. Oh, I just stubbed my toe. Careful. Sorry. But this is gonna be good, <laughs> especially since I just stubbed my toe. Hi, y'all. So it is later. Um, I just finished up dinner with mom. We were watching some Christmas movies, but in honor and in celebration of me hitting 500 subscribers today, I wanted to do a try on haul for you guys. I wanted to do this a couple of days ago, but it just didn't work out. So I guess it works perfectly that I'm doing it today, but I have a try on haul for you guys um, if you don't know this brand already, um, I feel like a lot of people have seen it like pass on their, um, on either Instagram or most definitely has popped up, um, on your like YouTube and all that stuff if you wear if you're into fashion and all that stuff. The brand's name is called Petal and Pup. Um, they are a Australian based company and all of these pieces, um, thank you so much, they sent over to me. They actually sent a couple of extra pieces I did not know were coming, um, but they are such high quality. Obviously I'll show you guys them, um, the pieces, but they feel great. I'll get into all of that, but thank you so much to Petal and Pup for sending over these pieces. I love you guys and I cannot wait to start wearing these pieces. I'm definitely gonna wear, I think, some pieces tomorrow for date night. Um, they've been sitting in a box. I've been waiting for the time to try them on. I haven't worn them or anything. And Petal and Pup, they were so sweet enough um, to give me a discount code for you guys. So I'll put it on the screen. I can't exactly remember. I'm pretty sure it's Angelica. 20 or Angelica pack home 20 for 20 percent off um at checkout and usually it's like 15 percent they do or um like smaller so 20 percent baby that is nice we love that we stand that so let's get into this try on haul okay okay so starting off with our first piece this is a long knitted um mat i'd say like almost maxi no midi dress um from petal and pup so it is this beautiful red um it has like cuffing at the sleeves and then it also has like this ribbed lining going down um the dress with this bow like you can just tie it around the waist and it snatches it up snatches it up <laughs> and it's pretty high collared um goes right here it's very stretchy and comfortable honestly i would say this is like one of the thickest material dresses like i've ever owned um it feels such great quality it feels very soft it's easy to move in this is what it looks like from the back like i absolutely love the color of this red i I don't know what type of red you would call this. I'd say more closer to like a berry, berry red. It slightly reminds me of like a cherry red. Yeah, like a nice deep cherry red. It's not that bright red that you would wear during Christmas time, but like sort of like a mixture of the autumnish, like closer to winter red. So I absolutely love this. I got this in a XL large um it's the same size in Aus in the australian size but i got a us large xl um i'm usually a 12 in pants so that's like for my bottom and i'm a 34 c for reference um in the bust so my hips are pretty wide and i have a big butt but i absolutely love this okay next up in the lineup i actually picked this dress, the dress that I tried on um, first, is one of the dresses that came in the box that was a bonus, like a surprise. But I chose, I actually picked this dress. Um, this is stunning. I plan on wearing this for Christmas Eve um, in the house. This is just this, it's like a luxurious, la, luxurious 
feeling satin and this beautiful like Christmas red like it just screams Christmas to me it stops right below my knee and it has like these beautiful like extra so like oh like they're super extra um sleeves and they cup like right there and then it has like a deep v it all depends on how you like position the fabric like if i do it like this like you could obviously see more but if i do it like this it just feels so soft and roomy and it hugs me in all the right places what i can't get over with these with the pedal and pup um brand is the quality is there like you do not have to question that the quality will like meet the standards that you need got this in a us 8 this is an australian i want to say 12 hold on let me double check the tag um the dress that i just tried on was the helena dress but this dress is the wine gray dress yeah so this is in an australian size 12. i'm wearing a us 8. now moving on to the two loungewear pieces i got i got this gorgeous set so it comes with these matching cream shorts and this like nice um long sleeve sweater so it's in this beautiful cream this feels so damn soft and the top and the bottoms come in the same exact material i'm pretty sure correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure australia is in summer right now i think they're in their summer season so like obviously shorts right now here in the u.s here in um new england at least aren't ideal but this outfit is great to wear around the house because this is going to keep me warm um i got this in the medium large um and it fits perfect it isn't like itchy or anything like the fabric not itchy at all feels really good i'm not like i don't feel like i'll overheat in it but it's still keeping me warm and doing what it needs to do while I have my shorts still on, I just put on a little um, tank top. I got this beautiful um, cardigan. It's in the color, I'd say they're a mocha color. This is their Lagos cardigan. Um, I got it in a US size 8, which is an Australian size 12. Um, this cardigan, it is so thick. Like, I... I can't get over the quality and as I said before um, with the dresses the quality is insane the red dress that I plan on wearing for Christmas it's li double lined so you don't even like need to worry about it like just the time and effort that they take into these pieces is insane so this is their Lagos cardigan um, I like when my cardigans are a little bit um, on the bigger side that they like go over like my fingers um it comes down in a pretty good length it stops like mid calf i see this being a big loungewear piece me walking around the house because you know like if you don't want to wear your bathrobe sometimes i feel like if i'm wearing my bathrobe and i'm still at home like i feel a little bummy but say you're just wearing little sweat sweatpants and a tank top and you put this on you still feel pretty dressed up but comfortable it's giving me like cloak vibes but meets bathrobe and really soft too like with the knitted material it's not like whole like it like has lining in it so it's not like straight holes like straight to your skin or anything like that i love this petal and pup is a 10 out of 10 so far baby okay 10 out of 10 i know allegedly a clip ago i just said that um pedal and pup was 10 out of 10 i take that back scratch that they are a 20 out of 10 after i remember the feeling of putting these jeans on so these jeans are their harlow jeans in the blue wash i got them in a u.s size 12 australian size 16. these are like every 90s 
baby even though I'm like 99 I'm like cusp but like every girl's dreams like oh my gosh I remember seeing these like this style at Urban Outfitters the way that like it buttons like these are all buttons and you button it up and then there's a button inside the way my booty is just sitting in these jeans oh, I love how it just hugs me and obviously she's a little bloated she just ate I get bloated after I eat it's it's the reality of the body even me being a little bloated after eating like these jeans stretch so nicely the wash is absolutely beautiful I personally like um, lighter wash so just because it's on camera it's gonna pick up a little bit different but they are a little bit lighter as well they're picking up a little bit more blue but I love these now this top I didn't choose this one they sent me this one I am so thankful that they sent me this. This is in a size large. I forget the exact name, but this top is absolutely beautiful. It's in this white. It has like, I hope you guys can see it. It like, the stitching, the way that it goes is like, like, oh, it's, I don't even, I don't even, this top is beautiful in the way that it sits on the shoulders. It hits me like, right here on my wrist so wearing bracelets and stuff it'll still be beautifully shown but this top just with like the harlow jeans like such a cute top this is this is like a whole outfit here date night outfit right here and just the detail it's very breathable um and you know with like certain whites like sometimes like you can see stuff and honestly i'm a part of the small titty gang so I don't really like wearing bras that often so being able to wear no bra and not seeing any nipple action amazing I haven't seen anything that has like a cut like this like the way that it dips in and then comes out like Ooh. okay and last but not least we have this gorgeous jacket I got this in a U.S. size large. It's still Australian large. It is this beautiful olive colored puffer jacket. Again, I rather a jacket um, be bigger on me than smaller because when you're wearing clothes under it, like say I got like a medium or a small, I would have been like, ugh, like suffocating. So most or almost all of my jackets are either an XL or a large. I got this one in this beautiful olive color. Co olive color. Um, it has the wrists that tighten a little bit closer to your hands. And it just puffs out into this beautiful pleated material. This is so soft compared to... I have my H&M jacket, which is right here. This iconic baby. It like swishes. This is such soft material. Like I'm still swishing, but like it's unbelievable how soft it is. It is thick and again the lining and the stitching on this is so great pockets on either side i love how big the zippers are the zipper is like bigger on it which i feel like is something that i don't usually see the pockets have a good amount of room and then in the back you also get a jawstring to adjust it so if you want it more cropped um or if it's too tight I love this. Like, this is a whole outfit itself as well. Like, say you're going out to dinner, puffer, and then boom, show off this baby and the jeans. Like, just this color palette. And my hair, like, tucked behind my ears in it. Like, I don't know about you guys, if I'm the only one, but, like, new hair equates to new wardrobe. And... Honey, she's getting it. I love this jacket and I know it's going to keep me warm. Like, I'm low-key but high-key sweating already in this. <laughs> but I know that this comes in different colors, so if olive isn't your thing. I just have so many, like, neutral colored <laughs> jackets. So I was like, olive, and I'm, ugh, I'm obsessed. I love how it looks and how it feels. And then lastly, I also got a Petal and Pup um, 
tote bag. If you know, you know. I am obsessed with tote bags. I love a good tote bag. And Pet on Pup got it in the bag. But that is about it for this portion of the try on haul. Um, again, thank you so much to Pet on Pup for sending over these pieces. I love all of these. Like, oh, it's been killing me. They've just been sitting in a pile and, like, I need to do this try on haul so I can wear them because I just felt weird like I was like no they need their time to shine we are not gonna play with them just yet until I show you guys but again I'll put the code on the screen and link it down below um, for you guys to use at checkout um, and get you some pedal and pup pieces because the Aussies know where it's at, where it's at. Another day, another night that I don't do self-care. It is currently 11.17 p.m. I just, just uploaded the vlog. Actually, I feel like I just have to say the biggest thank you and we're halfway to a thousand. That's so cool. And I grew up watching YouTubers like Ava Kutowski and Alicia Marie and like Remy Ashton and all of them. And I'm doing something that I love and I'm enjoying. I just feel feel really lucky and really proud and blessed because the same little 12 year old girl that was posting YouTube videos and stopped posting YouTube videos because she's being made fun of in school now like she could just see us 10 years later posting regularly on YouTube and creating some cool content and making memories. It just blows my mind. I don't know, there's like, when it comes to social media, a lot of people like to, you know, compare the numbers or this, this and that. And like some people may be like, oh, 500 isn't a lot, but that's 500 people. Like human beings, it's not just bots or anything. It's 500. Uh, 503 humans that follow and are taking on this journey with me watching every step to know that I have that much support um, obviously having support from family and friends is means a lot it means the world to me it's even cooler finding out that like so many people are rooting for me I just wanted to say thank you. I'm sorry, I'm being completely sappy. Who am I? I'm a Pisces, that's what. One minute I'm good, the other minute I'm a crybaby bitch like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 18. Oh my gosh, we are so close to the end of Vlogmas, that's insane. Um, But... Kisses to my bitches. Stay hydrated, kids. See you in tomorrow's vlog. Good night. Or good morning. Whatever it is for you. But bye-bye.